Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here back with another Madden 23 rebuild. In today's episode, we're going to be rebuilding the New Orleans Saints, but with the new addition of Derek Carr. And the Raiders said he did not waive his uh, no trade clause in his contract. So that means they're probably going to end up cutting him, meaning what the Saints are going to get an easy free deal. Not only that, they also gave up their first round pick last year to trade up to get Chris Olave, which at first I was like trading two first round picks for a receiver you don't even know is going to be good. It ended up working out. It was a really good move because now they tr ended up trading Sean Payton for this year's first round pick, um, the specifically the Niners first round pick that the Dolphins had. Wait, was it the Dolphins that had them? No, it was the Broncos that had it. I, I don't know why I said Dolphins because it, I think it originally came from the Dolphins. Either way, they have a first round pick this year and they have a first round pick next year from the Sean Payton trade. Well, not a first round pick next year, a second round pick next year. I am so sorry for confusing my audience. First round pick this year and a second round pick next year from the Broncos. So all worked out from them. And yeah, it seems like it's going to be a pretty good move for the Saints here as they got Alvin Kamara. Obviously, we're going to get Derek Carr here in a second. We got Alvin Kamara, Michael Thomas, who I do think they're probably going to cut or trade in real life because his contract is so huge. Jarvis Landry, uh, Deontay Hardy, Chris Olave, Jawan Johnson, Ryan Ramchek, Cesar Ruiz. Eric McCoy, Andrews Pete, who I'm probably going to cut, Trevor Penning. Defensively, uh, Demario Davis, I'm going to be real. I don't know who this guy is. Cam Jordan, Tuttle, David Onyemata, Marcus Davenport, who probably won't resign. Marshawn Lattimore, Alante Taylor, Marcus May, and uh, the Honey Badger, of course. So that is the overlook of the team. And th these are the 2022 retirements for the NFC South. As Cordero Patterson and Julio Jones both retire, I can I can actually kind of see that in real life. But let's look at the players ready to negotiate as I do have realistic draft class rosters. Michael Thomas, I do kind of just want to tag. So I'm just going to drop him this. Oh, I can't even drop him that. I just want to tag him and trade him. Marcus Devonport doesn't want to play and we don't have the money to re-sign him. I didn't even know Chris Harris Jr. was on the Saints. Juwan Johnson, I would like to re-sign, but he doesn't want to play here, so he can walk. And everyone else here is just... No. <laughs> so I'm just going to take Michael Thomas, completely undercut his contract so that way he doesn't sign. And then once he doesn't sign, I'm just going to tag him so I can trade him. Because in real life, I think they will trade him or they'll cut him because his contract is ridiculous. So apart from that, guys, it's now time to skip to the draft because we have no money for free agents. In the first round, I'm picking up defensive end Zach Harrison out of Ohio State. I did want to pick up that defensive end out of Iowa. I think it was Van Ness is his name, but he wasn't on the board and Zach Harrison was here, so I do think he's a good, going to be a great addition uh, to replace Marcus Stavenport, or maybe even Cam Jordan. Six foot six, two seventy two, ninety strength, hidden dev. So I'm actually going to be cutting Andreas Pete here because he takes up so much money on our team. And I lowered the cap room of Michael Thomas because we are just going to end up trading him for thirty million. Like, oh, that's cheating. How else do you expect me to get Derek Carr on the team? <laughs> that's just how it is. So let's try and acquire him right now. And I have 19 million to spend. So we actually can acquire Derek Carr now. And for those guys saying, oh, you got to rebuild Derek Carr for the entire rebuild. He is a 75 overall star development regressing quarterback. I cannot keep this man on my team forever. He's going to be wearing number four on the Saints as well. And yeah, he's good in real life and maybe he can do something. But in Madden, he probably won't do much of anything. So I did lower... Michael Thomas's cap it so that way I could get their car on the team and I did cut Andrews P. I wanted to cut him either way, but either way, we needed to free up some cap space. So Harrison is a 76 overall and he is a right end, so I don't know why he's not playing his designated position because Peyton Turner is there. What a bust of a first round pick, dude. Peyton Turner, are you kidding me? Let's cut this guy just so that way my right end can actually start, please, because the game is mentally retarded. There we go. Harrison is going to be there and then. Yikes, my defensive tackles are um, not looking great. Peyton Turner is going to be our best defensive tackle, apparently. And yeah, that's what we got for the rest of the defense, though. So interior defensive line needs to be worked on. Basically, all of it needs to be worked on. And I'm going to be trading Michael Thomas at the trade deadline. So Derek Carr, he has something to work with for maybe the first half of the season. But let's move to the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark. As we are 4-3, and three, second the division, the division is actually very highly contested, coming off a loss to the Panthers somehow. But either way, 
I'm going to be scouting a quarterback. Whether you guys like it or not, I'm going to be scouting a quarterback. Doesn't mean I'm going to start the quarterback right out the gate, but I will be scouting one to replace Derek Carr because he will not last forever on this team. I can guarantee you that. He's just a temporary band-aid, and he doesn't even want to play for the Saints, apparently, in this simulation. I'll give him... I, I kind of just want to stack out a one-year deal with him. I'll give him this and see if he just wants to play for another year. If he doesn't, I'll just tag him. But hopefully I can just get him on a cheaper deal. That guy I don't want. Wow, everyone here kind of sucks. Michael Thomas, I need to trade. Cam Jordan doesn't even want to play. Cesar Ruiz, I do want back. And a lot of these players I just don't really want in general. But I do want to trade away Michael Thomas, so I am going to go do that now. So there's been a lot of connections and links to people saying Michael Thomas is going to the Bears. So that's exactly where I'm sending him. For a second and a third round pick, I probably could have gotten a first round pick out of the Bears for him because he is a highly rated wide receiver in Madden. But I feel like that would be a little bit too unfair. Maybe in real life, I could see him going for like a third and a fifth. But either way, it's Madden. I don't care. So I do want to resign. Where is he? Cam Jordan. I will just offer him this base to see if he somehow accepts it and he does not. So we'll see if his interest increases by the end of the season. And apart from that, let's move in to the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs going 7-10 and 10 and just tanking the second half of the season completely. All right. Our offensive points per game was 28th and our defensive points per game was 16th. Stats and awards. Let's see what we got here. Derek Carr, bad. 43, 43rd pass rating. There's 32 teams in the NFL. 26th best offense, 8th best defense. 4,500 yards, 23 touchdowns to 17 inter interceptions, and only 59% completion percentage is a horrible stat line. Alvin Kamara, 13 touchdowns, 4.4 per carry, 1,200 yards. Traquan Smith somehow has 1,100 yards, 5 touchdowns. Olave, 6 touchdowns, and almost 1,000 yards. Defensively looking into it, Demario Davis, 120 tackles, tackles for a loss, 19 for Saunders. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> Sacks, eight and a half for Zach Harrison, the rookie. Cam Jordan only with eight interceptions, five for Marshawn Lattimore. Safety zone team, zero defensive touchdowns is zero. So after we trade away Michael Thomas, the team just goes to shit. Anyways, let's move into the offseason. And the Bengals beat the Niners in the Super Bowl. Joe Burrow wins the Super Bowl MVP. Josh Allen wins the league MVP. There are no awards here for the New Orleans Saints. So let's see what we got for the roster upgrades. Offensively, we have nobody. <laughs> wow. Traquan Smith doesn't even get star dev. That's kind of crazy as Alvin Kamara is regressing. Zach Harrison as superstar X Factor. Did he come with that? No way. That's crazy. This is Bengals draft class, by the way. Wow, okay. Zach Harrison just has superstar X-Factor. That's sick. Marshawn Lattimore gets superstar X-Factor as well. Elante Taylor gets star dev. That's awesome. And Saunders gets star dev. How old is Saunders? 28, unfortunate. Yeah, I'm going to let him walk if he's 28. But anyways, guys, apart from that, it's now time to move into the resign players. Kim Jordan retires and James Hurst both retired. James Hurst getting retired or getting cut or whatever that helps a lot with cap and same thing with camp jordan he didn't want to play for us Derek carr i mean he's a part of the rebuild but he did terrible he did horrible i need to overpay caesar ruse i don't know if i'm saying his last name right either way i don't care he's on the team and traquan smith he had one decent season i'll give him a two-year deal and up the salary a little bit for him and he resigns i'm fine with that and hardy i know it used to be De deontay harris it was his last name. He changed his last name. You know, Benjamin, he's been passed around more than more than a thought, bro. Holy crap. Wasn't he on like the Cardinals, then the Texans? Now he's on the Saints in one season. Talk about getting passed around, dude. Anyways, Derek Carr. I'm going to do just a very player friendly, then a one year deal and see if he wants that. Yeah, and he resigns just so that way I can, you know, keep it a quote unquote Derek Carr rebuild. But anyways, we have 93 million to spend. Let's get to free agency. After free agency, I got Jeffrey Simmons, who actually had an interest in signing with the team whenever I signed him, but then I moved him to defensive tackle, so sucks to be him. Rashawn Gary had a high interest also, and then I moved him to left defensive end, and then he doesn't have an interest, but sucks for you. You're on a five-year contract. Gabe Davis signed, and Cam Akers signed as well. So our defensive line just went from nothing to something, and it's now out time to move into the draft. So I'm trading up in the draft from pick 13 to pick number five. So I'm just trading, swapping my first and giving away my second. I know it doesn't seem like that much value, but there's a good QB on the board. I want him really bad. And I think we definitely needed to trade up for this guy. So looking into it, 
Blair Lockbaum looks amazing because he's a top five talent round one projection. Yes, he has poor speed. He has Tom Brady's speed, elite throw power, elite strength, good accuracy. Is the guy, Blair Lockbaum. Dude, what? Oh, he's out of Duke. That's why. <laughs> Six foot four, 234, 96 throw power is crazy, but only normal dev is stupid. After being a top five talent, way to get baited, whatever. In the second round, I'm picking up defensive tackle Paul Upshaw, speed rush out of Washington State, 86 strength and hidden development. In the third round, I'm picking up left guard Kerry Crawford out of Georgia, six foot three, 317, 88 strength and hidden development. In the fifth round, I'm picking up fullback Russ North out of Louisville, 6'2", 232, 85 speed, hidden development fullback. Interesting. Here we are after the draft and free agency, and already he's a 77 overall, top five talent. I'm starting him over Derek Carr. For this, going to be like, oh, this is Derek Carr. Derek Carr was terrible. <laughs> so, yeah, Russ North is a 72 overall. Crawford is a 71 overall left guard. I don't really like Gabe Davis over Chris Olave, but it looks like I can't really do too much about it. Eh, no, I'm going to start Chris Olave. Don't care. Defensively, we got Upshot as a 73 overall. Good stuff. And DBs honestly aren't that bad. It's just Marshawn Lattimore, of course, stands out from the rest of them. D-line looks great. Special teams. Pick these guys up in the later rounds. Not amazing, but we'll do the job for now. Traquan Smith, and I feel like I like everyone else here. I'm cool with the team like this. So apart from that, guys, let's see what our new QB, Blair Lockbaum, can do, and let's move into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are 5-2, and two, top of the division with our new quarterback. I like to see that a lot. And what do we really need? I think tight end is probably our biggest need because defensive line looks good. Maybe outside linebacker, Demario Davis might retire on us but I would like to have a tight end. So players ready to negotiate, coming off a win to the Baltimore Ravens. Let's see what we have, a Honey Badger. I do want back, I'll do a two-year deal. I'm fine with that. And he doesn't want to negotiate right now. Mario Davis, I'm cool with the one-year deal. I'm cool with that. 84 overall, he pro yeah, we probably need a linebacker. <laughs> Marcus May, he can walk, honestly. Pete Warner, I do want back for the rest of the rebuild. Hopefully he just accepts this, and he does. Um, anyone else? Paul some Debo. I'll overpay for him. He's honestly pretty cheap for the most part. And here he signs. Good stuff. Derek Carr, walk. Wait, do we have the mentor tag? If you do, that'd be awesome. Mentor. Yes, he does have the mentor tag. I would like to actually keep him around since he does have the mentor tag. Um, let's increase the money for him. Would he like that? He still doesn't want to sign. <laughs> I don't want to overpay for a second string QB, but still, he does have the mentor tag. Peyton Turner, what a bust of a first round pick. Can't believe someone actually picked. Whenever I saw he was drafted in the first round, I was like, who? <laughs> Anyways, apart from that, guys, we're here to face the four and three Denver Broncos. And I'm actually going to change my scouting national focus to linebacker. Where is... Um, Am I stupid? Region breakdown? Is that it? Yeah, there it is. Okay, I was like, where is scouting national focus? I'm going to change the middle linebacker because Demario Davis is running out of time while we have left is Pete Werner. So anyways, let's move in into the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs as we are 11-6, and six, top the division. Panthers are 8-9. We're here to play them in the wild card as they snuck in, coming off a blowout win to the Raiders, 45-3. to three. I bet Derek Carr was happy to watch that from the bench. And stats... Blair Lockbaum did great for his rookie year, but 38th passer rating, like 17th best offense, 5th best defense, 4,600 yards, 38 touchdowns, 14 interceptions, need to lower those interceptions, but still a good year. Alvin Kamara, 11 touchdowns, 4.4 per carry, almost 1,300 yards. Sam Laporta, tight end, 115 receptions, 1,200 yards, but only two touchdowns. I guess we found our new tight end, Sam Laporta. And uh, Traquan Smith, 12 touchdowns, 1, 1,100 yards. And Gabe Davis, 1,000 yards, 17 touchdowns. Chris Olava, wide receiver one, not even 1,000 yards, but four touchdowns. Defensively, Demario Davis, 117 tackles, tackles for a loss, 13 for Zach Harrison, sacks 18 and a half for uh, Zach Harrison, and Rashawn Gary with 18, and Jeffrey Simmons with 14 and a half. Interceptions, four for Marshawn Lattimore. Safeties, zero defensive touchdowns is one for Paulson Adebo and Nate Landman. I don't know who late Nate Landman is, if I'm being honest. But anyways, let's see if we can beat our division rivals, the Carolina Panthers, in the wild card for our first rookie win. And we do, crushing them, 45-13. to 13. Here to face the challenging 10-7 and 7 San Francisco 49ers. And we do not beat them. Getting blown out 31-10. to 10. Let's move in to the offseason.
and we have a Super Bowl rematch, but the Chiefs make it clear that they are the better team. 35-7, to Patrick Mahomes once again wins another Super Bowl MVP. Josh Allen's back-to-back -back league MVPs, and there are no awards here for the Saints. How did I not win Offensive Rookie of the Year with my QB? <laughs> Going all the way to the divisional round, and he had a great year overall. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give him star development. He had a great rookie season. And if you're going like, oh, you're cheating. You're che I don't care if I'm cheating. The dude's a better player. He had an amazing year. Speaking of which, Sam Laporta gets over 100 receptions as a tight end. And you're going to tell me that he doesn't deserve star development. Oh, you're cheating. You're, yeah, you're damn right I'm cheating because the game is too retarded to actually give out awards and actual proper developments to players who deserve them. Oh, he only had two touchdowns. He had over 1,000 yards for a tight end and over 100 receptions. He had the most receptions on the team. That's crazy. Uh, Lockbomb is getting that star, whatever you, wh whether you like it or not, he's getting that star to have. Traquan Smith, dude, I feel like I should give him star because he's doing amazing, but at the same time, already, yeah, that's, that's a great season, and he should deserve star. I'm not going to give it to him just because people are going to be like, oh, you're giving out too many development traits. Anyways, for the rest of the team, though, defensively, we look at the exact same. Oh, actually, this guy, uh, Nick Her Herbig apparently has a star development now so i'm cool with that defensively i want to see if pete warner is he a right outside linebacker designated yes he is okay just want to make sure as we are probably not going to re-sign at demario davis but apart from that guys let's move in into the re-signings Taysom hill retires that's good for cap room bradley roby retires same deal with cap room and a lot of people retire bobby wagner on the falcons akeem hicks on the panthers ryan jensen and Levante david both retire the Buccaneers, that works for me. And a player's ready to negotiate. Let's see who we have here. We are going to have Tyron Matthew has higher interest now. Still will be cool with the two-year deal. And he resigns. Marcus May only went down one overall. And this is a stupid cheap deal. Yeah, I'm cool with that. <laughs> uh, Derek Carr, you have the mentor tag. The only interest I have in you at all is team-friendly and a one-year deal. And he wants to play for a new team. Sorry, guys. I'm just not going to tag him for $50 million a year to be a second-string mentor. Yeah, he can walk. Everyone else here can walk. I do not have an interest in them. I'll find a new mentor. And apart from that, guys, let's move into free agency. It was kind of a weak free agency class, but I did get Tyson Campbell at the defensive back position, and I need to get some linebackers or maybe a strong safety or to replace Marcus May. So let's move into the draft. In the first round, I'm picking up strong safety John Russell out of Auburn. Only normal Dev, unfortunately, but he, he just has all-around average stats. But his skills, A tackle, A injury, B play rec, B catching. Only C awareness, though, but I thought he was good enough. Apparently not. In the second round, I'm picking up middle linebacker out of NC State, Lance Bright, 6'1", 238, field general, or hidden dev, and 89 speed is pretty good. And in the third round, I'm picking up another linebacker, Caleb Felix out of Ohio State, 6'1", 227, another fast guy, 88 speed, hidden development. Linebacking core is pretty set. Now, this is the team after the draft, and I do need to get a different QB for a mentor. Bright, okay, yeah, these guys are pretty good. They, all, they are all going to replace Demario Davis. And Felix, yeah, let's move these guys up, actually. And I am going to sign a new mentor QB so that way we can have more XP for... Yeah, I'm going to be signing Taylor Heineke as a mentor quarterback for our new quarterback. Just so that way he can get more XP. So apart from that, guys, it is now time to move into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are 4-3, and three, second division, as it is kind of a contested division, but not really much with the Falcons. But looking into the scouting national focus, who do we even want? I kind of have everything. Maybe I scout safety again to get rid of Tyran Matthew if he regresses too far and one of our Marcus May leaves. So apart from that, let's look into the players ready to negotiate. I say apart from that way too much. Taylor Heineke, he has interest in coming back. I'm cool with him being my mentor QB and he's not considering at the moment. Doesn't make sense. Chris Olave, I need back. And I didn't get his fifth year option for some reason, but he resigns. Avin Kamara, he really doesn't want to play for us. But I'll just try and throw him a bone here. So, okay, he actually resigns. Wow, okay. Marcus May, I don't want you back because I already have your replacement. Sorry, you're gone. Demario Davis, same deal. Trevor Penning, should have got your, um, whatchamacallit, should have got your fifth year option too, but I guess I didn't. Either way, it's a cheaper contract. really doesn't even matter. Lante Taylor, I do want back as well. He doesn't even really want to be here, so I will up his money. And it's really not even that big of a contract. So he does resign. And Traquan Smith can walk. 
Marco Jackson, everyone else here can just walk. Don't really care about them. Taylor Heineke, I do want back just as a mentor. So apart from that, it's not time to move in into the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs going 9-8, second in the division behind the 9-8 Carolina Panthers who take the division. So we probably slipped in with the seventh seed coming off a loss to the Rams, did we? Yeah, we did. You're going to face the, the two seed of Minnesota Vikings. Is there, they're only 11-6 as a two seed. Kind of a weak conference. Anyways, stats and awards. Blair Lockbaum, pretty good. And uh, offensively, sixth best offense in the NFL, third best defense, great seasons, 4,700 yards, 35 touchdowns, 18 interceptions is too many, dude. Alvin Kamara, 15 touchdowns, 5.2 per carry, and almost 1,500 yards. Gabe Davis, 1,100 yards. Traquan Smith, 1,000 yards. Sam Laporte, 1,000 yards. Chris Olave, almost 1,000 yards defensively. Demario Davis, 111 tackles, tackles for a loss, 16 for Rashawn Gary, sacks 20 for Rashawn Gary, 15 and a half for Jeffrey Simmons, eight for Zach Harrison, interceptions three for Marcus May, safety zero, defensive touchdowns is zero. So Rashawn Gary better get superstar X factor after having 20 sacks in a season. Can we beat the Minnesota Vikings in our third season? You know, the Saints biggest rival in the playoffs and we do not. Saints once again lose the Vikings in the playoffs, can't ever seem to beat them. Let's move to the off season. And the Niners beat the Broncos in the Super Bowl. Fred Warner wins the Super Bowl MVP. Josh Allen is a three-time in a row consecutive league MVP, but cannot win a Super Bowl, apparently. And there are no awards here for the New Orleans Saints, but we are going to see the development upgrades if there is any. Um, I don't know who really deserves one here, but let's see what we got. Offensively, we look the exact same. No way. <laughs> Defensively, holy crap, that's a lot of X-Factors. Tyran Matthew gets Superstar X-Factor. Demario Davis has regressed too far into the ground to be resurrected at this point. And yeah, defensive line looks good. Hopefully I can get a new strong safety in free agency, but let's move to the resign players. Demario Davis does retire. Kind of expected it. I wouldn't have resigned him anyways. Maybe I need an elite middle linebacker in free agency if we could afford one and maybe another third wide receiver. Taylor Heineke, again, I do want him back just as a mentor and he resigns. And Marcus May is 76. He's gone. Traquan Smith is 76. He's gone. Everyone else here is just gone. Don't really have an interest for him. Let's try to find a new strong safety because the one I drafted wasn't really that good. After free agency, we got DK Metcalf and Grant Delpit. DK Metcalf giving a truly superstar X-Factor receiver to our quarterback. Let's move to the draft. We really didn't need anything else. So I got a speed demon of a defensive back who is six foot three, but only 181 hidden development and 95 speed. Now this is the team going into the fourth and final season, no Derek Carr on the team anymore, but we do have a superstar X-Factor wide receiver for our quarterback. He should have no excuses. The team is amazing all around. Looks like the CPU picked up this guy named Harris, who is apparently an all around player and defensive tackle, defensive end, outside linebacker. Dude looks crazy. And the DB that I drafted literally doesn't even play because we have so much depth at DB. I really did not realize how much good depth we have at DB, but Anyways, our linebackers are just kind of average, but apart from that, guys, the team already looks amazing, and let's see what we can do in the fourth and final season. Here we are in the playoffs going 12-5 and five with the first round by. 12-5 and five and getting the first round by is kind of crazy. Again, weak conference. Coming off a loss to the Packers as well, but third in offensive points per game, fourth in defensive points per game. Let's look at the stats and awards here, as it looks like Blair Lockbaum looks like a top 10 QB now. Seventh best offense in the NFL, third best defense. Lock bomb, 4,800 yards, 41 touchdowns, and 13 interceptions. Not touchdowns, my bad. And Alvin Kamara, 14 touchdowns, 4.5 per carry, 1,200 yards. DK Metcalf, 1,100 yards. Gabe Davis, 1,000 yards. Chris Olave, 1,000 yards. M. Sam Laporta, almost with 1,000 yards, but 10 touchdowns. And defensively, Lance Bright, 119 tackles. Tackles for a loss, 15 for Jeffrey Simmons. Sacks, 16 for Zach Harrison. That's crazy. Rashawn Gary with 15 and a half interceptions is seven for Marshawn Lattimore. Safeties zero defensive touchdowns is zero. So great season. We better be able to cap this off with a Super Bowl win, especially with our new QB and not Derek Carr. But let's see if we can actually make it past the divisional round. 11 and six Philadelphia Eagles. This may prove to be a challenge. Chancey Gardner Johnson rivalry here as we do beat them 38 to 24. Let's see if we can beat the Washington Commanders to move on to the Super Bowl. So let's move into it. Here we are in the playoffs as the Redskins. Okay, I was about to, no, okay, I have no idea what's happening. Everything just shot up. 
3 to 21 against the Redskins, and it is 3 to 24, 10 to 24. Yeah, we got this game. <laughs> 10 to 31 in the fourth quarter now. We're going to be moving on to the Super Bowl once this game finally ends. Come on, dude. We just end the suffering for the Washington Redskins as they walk the trail of tears back to Oklahoma. Yeah, that's right. I don't care. Cancel me. 16 to 37. Let's get to the Super Bowl. And here we are in the Super Bowl to face the 13 and four Kansas City Chiefs. I'm not gonna waste any time, let's move into it. Once again, here we are in Miami for this video. I feel like I'm always in the Miami Super Bowl whenever I'm playing in the simulation. But anyways, seven to 10 currently in the second quarter, seven to 13, 14 to 13, and 14 to 16 at the halftime, 21 to 16. Come on, 21 to 24, 24 to 24. Win or lose, it's still a successful rebuild. Let's see, 27-27, and they're gonna, uh, they're gonna pin us with a field goal and end the game. 30 to 27, unfortunate loss to the Chiefs, but hey, they're the Chiefs, dude. They're a really hard team to beat in simulation, but this still was a successful rebuild because all I'd need to consider a successful rebuild is just to make it to the Super Bowl because then you still have a conference championship win. But anyways, we're gonna be seeing the Super Bowl MVP. It's probably Patrick Mahomes, <laughs> as always. But um, yeah, 30 to 27, Patrick Mahomes, Super Bowl MVP, and finally a new league MVP, Eagles quarterback, Lewis Zeigler. And yeah, there are no awards here for the New Orleans Saints. Let's take our fourth and final look at the team before I end out this video and let me know which team you'd like me to rebuild next down in the comments below. Offensively, Laporta gets superstar dev. Defensively, Warner gets superstar dev. And yeah, that's it. Anyways, guys, thank you guys all for watching. Let me know which team you'd like me to rebuild next, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.